Hello and welcome, trainers. I'm Joe here from East McCoast, and hello and greetings. And who's that Pokemon? It's well, Charmander. Charmander is the fire lizard who was the uh, one of the almost poster Pokemon of Pokemon Red. I'd argue that during the old um, original anime um, with Ash or Satoshi, Charmander was probably arguably one of the most popular, right after Pikachu. And in the Pokedex entry from the red and blue days, it said that obviously prefers hot places. When it rains, steam is said to sprout from the tip of its tail. Now, one lore detail is that if this fire, if the fire on the tail goes out, Charmander dies, which I actually like that touch. So whenever the fire would almost get extinguished, you'd kind of panic a little if you were a kid and watching Pokemon back in the day and it made it a little, it gave you a physical sign in a way of a heartbeat. And that I think was important. And it makes what that one guy with the polyrath did to Charizard really horrible when he targeted the tail specifically. Honestly, the polyrath should have been put down and the dude should have been, had his license revoked. But, and ice, he should have been jailed. Ice type attack or not, that was uh, an illegal move. And, and the fact that Charizard nearly died. Yeah. And I, I can't help but think that had Lance of the Elite Four known, he would have, he would have almost murdered the guy. Because the Elite Four deal with this kind of nonsense all the time. Um, and it makes what the one trainer who left Charmander in the rain did all the crueler. Because this is essentially a dog. Almost. Given how loyal Charmanders tend to be from what we've seen in the lore. And it's in various anime and manga it seems that Charmanders are very, very loyal Pokemon. But they can either become wrathful dragons once they evolve into Charizard or gentle genial old giants it's all about the childhood I know that sounds Freudian but it's the truth Charmanders are generally easy for uh, for uh, new trainers because yeah now that said in the Pokemon video games Charmander, I'm not going to lie, was very popular. And I would argue was the easy mode choice. Squirtle was the very easy mode. Then you had Charmander who was easy mode. And you had Bulbasaur who was like normal mode. And the difference is that, not going to lie, like Charmander versus Brock, it's a cinch. I don't know of a single person who had a, a hard time. I think I had a hard time the first time, but my brother, our brother just said, just train him some more. And then when I did, Brock was easy pickings. Misty's a little more difficult, and you do need another Pokemon to help you out. But if you actually train him to about level 32, you can easily dispatch her with, Char with Charmeleon. And then every other... Poke trainer is just easy pickings or Poke um, gym leader. It's just, it's impossible to have a hard time with the first generation. After Misty, things get far simpler. Well, it gets so easy, it's not even funny. You could just use Charmander every step of the way, or at least his evolutions, and you'll never lose. Yeah, you don't have any Whitney's uh, running around with her melt tank. No, you don't. You don't. The gym leaders in the first generation game were just too easy. Even Misty and Barack were too easy. They really should have amped up the difficulty. At least Whitney was a little hard. The other thing with Charmander is that his stats are just through the roof. I might argue he, in some ways his stats are way better than Squirtle's. And that's the problem that kind of makes it so that even if you're up against Squirtle with a Charmander, you still don't really struggle too much. His stats are just... He's a powerhouse. And it doesn't help that uh, many of the later games give a lot of uh, buffs, power-ups, and whatnot to Charmander. 
Yeah. What's worse is that Charmander just... It, it's just that uh, he might just be the strongest fire type evolution line ever. Like, you compare... Except maybe Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil might be the only one with stats over him in hindsight. Cyndaquil is probably the only one I might say his evolution line can serve is better than Charmander. And that lies in the moves that Cyndaquil can choose and in the fact that, well, Cyndaquil is just basically, if you know how to use him right, invincible. Whereas Charmander has some weaknesses, but he's the second strongest fire type evolution line. And like even Moltres is garbage compared to Charmander. And one of the primary reasons why is probably because uh, the physical uh, fire type move, most of them have recoil damage. And, and the same is about the electric types, which makes running a physical uh, fire type very difficult and it drags them down. But Charmander has some of the best special stats right behind Cyndaquil. And that just makes him a powerhouse. But his physical stats are up there. You teach him Slash, Fly, Earthquake. I think Earthquake is actually special. But you teach him the combo of when he's Charizard, Fly, Slash, Earthquake, and Flamethrower. And he's essentially halfway to Invincible. As for Charmander himself, well, of the three starters, it's already been said, in some ways he is the best. And lore-wise, he might be the best in most anime and manga. But in game, Squirtle is the best only due to move sets. But in terms of stats, arguably Charmander seems to have an edge over him. Not to say that Squirtle sucks. Oh no, Squirtle's a powerhouse. Um, Squirtle I, and his line, I don't know... I can't really think of any water type I'd rank over him. That's how powerful he is. But, yeah. I don't have much more to say about Charmander. What's there to say other than he's awesome? And as a kid, I thought he was the best of the three. You preferred Squirtle, I believe. Yes. Good choice. Um, all three... Uh, all three... Uh, were pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's just... I thought Charmander was the best as a kid. And with Gen 2, we both know Cyndaquil was the best. And Totodile was... Second best. Was still a really good choice. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. Uh, they really favored Cyndaquil. Chikorita lost out badly. Yes. And to this day, people are wanting to push Game Freak. Give Chikorita a buff. Yeah, or three. Like, upgrade her, because she falls so far behind, or I always say she, because I always think of it as a she, because of the Ash anime. But, and it look, it's a care it's a Pokemon that looks like a, it's female. Um, I'm just saying. Look at it this way. Uh, there are some Pokemon that look obviously male. You look at Mewtwo, he, but you look at, I don't know. Uh, Muck looks more male, I have to say. Um, even Golduck, I tend to think, is more uh, being a male Pokemon, typically. Which means Psyducks, are, I tend to think, are male. Eh, fits, given how dumb our sex can be. I'm joking, I'm joking. Jeez. Anyways, yeah. I can't say I'm very fond of just how much favoritism is chucked at Charmander. I do like him, but it's just... You the, get a sense that, like... The, the, yeah, because I get a sense that uh, buff... Giving buff, like... Uh, uh, what, Z moves and uh, Mega Evolutions to Squirtle and Bulbasaur just feels like they're doing it out of, out of obligation because they want to give more to Charmander. Yeah, which I never like any of that stuff. Just stick to the original stuff. Because after that, it gets so convoluted and complicated. Anyways, next time we'll be dealing with Charmeleon. So, 
If you want to stay tuned for that, don't forget to smash that like and that subscribe button as though you were Charmander fire blasting them.